all right, this is going to be good. Because I'm fresh. I'm fresh as frick, boyos. And you know what that means. It means absolutely nothing. I'm going to fail over and over again. You got it, fellas. So, actually, I'm really excited, right? So, um, I watch children's uh, television, right? Because I'm a child and I enjoy animation. And Lord knows everything that is in English that is animated is either a movie made by Joe Rogan, not Joe Rogan, Seth Rogan, the other Rogan guy. Um, or, uh, let's see here. You know, I had thought about something right there. Oh, I did not think too hard about the fact that that switch is not a crystal. Uh, Seth Rogen movie, made by DC. Honestly, DC's animated movies are pretty good. But um, other than that, it's 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 almost all entire literal garbage. Um, like uh, there's a uh, wacky children's TV shows, you know. And those are bad enough as is. I keep forgetting that I cannot just jump in there. Um, you know, CalArt style, terrible stuff there, you know. But, um, I've been watching. There are some shows that are good, that are kind of worth it. Kind of worth the, the heartache of, um,. Watching broadcast television again, <laughs> but um, let's see here. What am I talking about? Oh, wonderful! Oh, wonderful! This is gonna be fun. I was about to say like they're not gonna let me. Um... This is bad. Oh boy. But yeah, I was um, I was specifically talking about amphibia, I guess. For one, I'm a frog lover. I, I can't, uh, can't shy away from that fact. So, you know, animated show has frogs in it. That's, like, two things that I like. That's enough for me to make, to make me watch it. Like, it's not like I'm doing anything else. But, um, not only that, it's not even terrible, like everything else on television. So, you know, it's, it's been a, it's been a nice experience. Unlike playing Celeste. There we go. Or not. God. So much for me being refreshed today. I really was excited about it. But anyways, the new season came out recently. I'm recording this middle of, middle of October. I keep forgetting that um, all of this is going to be going up. Like, this is going up uh, the weekend, the week of Christmas, right? I'm sure y'all would know better than I, since it's literally the week of Christmas right now for you. Suckers. I did all my shopping already. By the time of upload, not by the time of me recording, of course. Oh boy. Here we go. I figured it out. Or not. So, I really don't need that second dash that I was trying to save, so I really should just do this. Right? If I can make it, which I can't. But, yeah. TV is getting better. I mean, Gendy Tartakovsky is doing more things. Um, I was thinking about it, and really, I guess it's just that he had been doing Samurai Jack for the past however long. I don't actually know how long. But, um... God, can I just stand here for a second? Alright. But, um... The thing about Gendy is that, um... Primal was really good, and I'm really hoping that Primal does a second season. And I think... Um, I think they were talking about it. Like, there would be a second season. But, um, I really don't know. And I hope for the sake of, like, I don't know, good television and my delicate sensibilities that there will be a second season because Primal was just amazing. And that's, that's another thing. That was one of the, the criteria I missed for good animation. It's either, um, really rare... Uh, let's see here. Uh, actually, I was thinking, I'm, I'm gonna end up thinking of more examples of good animation right now. For one, Japanese. Um, and not, I'm not talking about that 3D garbage. I, I think I talked on this, um, 
It was it was uh, it was this series that I was talking about D side, right? I don't even know what D side's about. All I know is that it looks like utter garbage, like visually. And I am not gonna do that to myself. Oh, come on. Because huh, professionals have standards. I know, I'm not really a professional. Professional anime connoisseur, alright? I don't get paid for any of the things that I do, so I may as well consider myself a professional at something. Oh, you know, that was a... Uh, not terrible. I almost made it. This honestly isn't a terrible room. But anyways, yeah. Um, everything that's on TV is absolute garbage if the characters have round faces and it's not Star vs. the Forces of Evil, but that's not on TV anymore anyway, so whatever. I liked it, okay? It was kind of wacky, and, you know, I feel like they could have done something where, you know, the characters you thought were going to end up together didn't actually. That would have been interesting and kind of new, and I would have accepted it thoroughly, which is, I guess, why they couldn't have done it. But, um, yeah... It was interesting. I, I liked it. But yeah, it's uh, it's these these kinds of series where um, I don't know. I'm a sucker for sci-fi fantasy, so yeah, things like um, yeah, I guess Star and uh, Amphibia are right up my alley, despite me being not at all in the demographic anymore. And that's not a problem to me. I do not care if I'm in that demographic. I see what's happening here. <sighs> You're face to face with greatness and it's strange. You don't even know how you feel. Okay. But yeah. Um, good animation isn't created anymore. Unless it is by Gennady, Gendy Tartakovsky. Or um, some schmucko at Disney. I'm not gonna lie, they make some funny stuff. And I guess, um, that was something else I was thinking about recently, it was, um... How the heck do I get there? Um... The newer, the newer, like, revival animations, where it's just kind of bad. I don't even know how to, how to handle those, personally. Here we are, thank you, baddie. Because, like, a lot of times it's just kind of crap. You know, or like, um, I'm, I'm really talking about the uh, HBO Max um, Animaniacs. I wasn't really an Animaniacs um, watcher as a child, so maybe I'm just wrong. But I have my doubts, and I know good animation when I see it. But I think what it is is that, like, you get these um, revival series of um, just real classics. Like, Animaniacs was huge. And then... The, it, it's just, the, the animation is just different enough to be weird, and they try and do all the same things, and it just doesn't work with the media. Like, uh, computer animation, then again, I don't actually know exactly how they animated Animaniacs. Uh, back in the olden days of, um, you know, Warner Brothers broadcast television. But, um, I'd imagine that it wasn't entirely computer animation. And I, I really don't know that uh, I will ever appreciate full computer animation, really. Like, kind of, I get it. There's only so much you can do with, uh... What am I thinking of? That was not my intention. Yeah. There's only so much you can do by hand nowadays. Especially with the, like... I could talk about instant gratification. <laughs> but, um... I did not wait for that at all. You know, you just have to do things quicker now, so I get that. And computer animation is cool and all, but when you're talking about something that, um, it already looked a certain way, and then you change it up and it's kind of wacky, I, don't, I just don't appreciate it as, it as much. And again, I didn't even watch Animaniacs, so this is just an entirely, please, oh, entirely outsider view of it. Maybe the animation just looks absolutely amazing to people that just loved Animaniacs as a kid growing up. Again, I, I guess that's the generation before me. I'm trying to remember if like Animaniacs was the 90s or not. Probably. 
it's good animation, so yeah, that would put it in the 80s, 90s. <laughs> I didn't get any of that growing up, except for reruns. Uh, boy. But, um, yeah, there's a... It, 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 it just doesn't make sense to me. Like, I want to say, um, New Tom and Jerry was like that for me, because I grew up kind of with Tom and Jerry. Just enough that I would say that I, w I grew up with Tom and Jerry. Like, we had a freaking... I had a VHS. Yes, I'm old enough to, for there to have been VHS when I was alive. See, I guess what it is is that, um, I have three older siblings, and the oldest one was born in 1998. Early 1998. That makes him a 90s kid. So, technically, I grew up with all of the 90s stuff, despite being born in, in, in the early 2000s. So, like, I played N64, things like that. And I, it, it's really funny for there to be, like, guys in their 30s being like, yeah, I grew up on N64, and I'm sitting here at 18. I'm like, oh boy, that's wacky. But, I mean, it makes sense. I keep forgetting I still have my... Probably should not have done that there, actually. See? Great idea. Um, let's see here. Okay, that was just a bad idea in general. I think this is kind of the way to do it. Oh, come on. But yeah, Gendy Tartakovsky, um, like the, the old style Mickey Mouse cartoons are pretty funny. Oh, come on. Um, but it's also like, it's like the, somebody was talking about this recently, or not recently, but like the, um, they were mentioning Ren and, Stim Ren and Stimpy and how they kind of did the, uh, like, really close up gross out kind of stuff, and they were the first ones to do it. I haven't watched Ren and Stimpy, and I wish I did, because it sounds hilarious, but, um, it's just, it's things like that that I wonder about, where, oh, okay, I didn't think I was actually going to hit it. Um, I wonder about where it's really going now. Because <laughs> they, they still do that, but it's like, everyone does it, and sometimes it's not done very well. And, um, I don't know. It's funny, but it's not, it's not like, um, it's not friggin'. They don't do it to the level that some of the, like, like a freaky SpongeBob memes to it. SpongeBob really got in there for some of those. It was wacky, but now they just like hee hee. We zoom in on face. We add slight detail. I think the last person, the last show that I saw it in was like Amazing World of Gumball, and that was a that show was a freaking trip. I really am enjoying Celeste not a lot more now that I can talk about cartoons since Amphibia Season 3 came out. Did I ever finish that freaking list? This is what I do, alright fellas, in case you haven't been to the channel before. I'll start talking about something and just never finish it. It'll just take different forms. Sort of. But, um, yeah. Gendy Tartakovsky makes good animation. And, uh... Oh, I see what they're trying to make me do. Oh, I see. That makes a bit more sense. Yeah, that makes a bit more sense. Oh, I see. But yeah, um... Disney... Is there even actually anything more? I'm trying to think of what... what other, other than Gendy Tartakovsky and some Disney is uh, still good. Um, Infinity Train was amazing, but then they canceled it because, you know, it was too good. It was too good for broadcast television. Actually, that's another thing. Um, I think it was that it was, uh, the theming was a bit too wacky for what people think that the uh, desired audience for cartoons is. And I guess what I'm talking about there is the, um, I don't know, kind of late teens kind of cart, kind of animation, like uh, 
I'd say that Teen Titans, the original, the good one, you know, Teen Titans would slip into the, uh, the late teens kind of uh, demographic for, um, for theming, themology. It's not, oh, friendship is everything, it's, um, this guy is going to kill us, you know. And that was always fun. It was always interesting. Just to see. I think I might be able to do this by dashing through that corridor. But, um, yeah. Adult themes in kids shows, it. I'm not going to say that it never goes well, but, you know, it is the kind of thing that I, I can imagine you stay away from. You don't have the freaking... You don't have some fucking... My Little Pony character be like, yeah, I'm a raging alcoholic. That'd be hilarious, though. It'd make, it'd make a lot of sense. But, um... <laughs> oh, how do I, how do I say things like that and keep going? <laughs> How's it going, every pony? Yeah, okay, I'm gonna stop there. Oh, did I... When did I dash? When was oh yeah, we're switching between blue and red and and uh, in the foreground and it makes everything look kind of similar. And I really wonder about it sometimes. Okay, wonderful. Anyways, it's nice to know at least now that uh, nothing I was going to try would have worked in the first place. Ha! <laughs> but yeah, that's how um that's how I feel about. God, I really need to backtrack a little bit. Adult theming and animation. That's how I feel about Gendy. Or was it Tartakovsky? Did Tartakovsky work on um, Symbiotic Titan? I think he did, and that's what made it good because you know Tartakovsky makes good TV shows. This guy in his 30s making TV shows about teenagers. And it's really good. I'm like that's kind of wacky, but also it makes sense. Come on, give me good, give me good shows, you know. But um, oh, how did I not see that? Yeah, Tartakovsky makes good stuff, but the the, the theming is always kind of wacky, and he doesn't always um, stay out. Or I feel like people get into some kind of toe stepping when it comes to Tartakovsky's work. Maybe, but like that was the whole thing um, during the live reels era of, of uh, Cartoon Network. They had um, Symbionic Titan, and that was a great freaking show. I remember it coming on, and I, I just never watched it, I guess, because it was... It would come on in the late sections, you know? It, like, everything about the way that they had it set up was like, okay, this is for teenagers, you know? This is for, like, teenagers to watch. This is the this section of Cartoon Network where teenagers watch cartoons, you know? And that was really cool, because it was a cool freaking show. And now you turn on CN any hour of the day, and I guess there's, um... They did the thing where it's freaking baby Cartoon Network now. It takes up half the space that a normal Cartoon Network should take up. And then normal Cartoon Network is like 90% um, bad Teen Titans. So, yeah. You get into some wacky stuff. How long have I been playing this freaking game? I'm hoping that I'm at least making enough of a commentary here for it to be engaging but yeah that was always like the biggest disappointment in my life was that i i finished what there was of symbiotic titan and there wasn't anything more because some executive at cartoon network was like mm, we can't sell toys i'm like yeah that's kind of not the point fella finish your finish your story this general here looks like a freaking ape betrays the freaking space king I want to know how this goth teenager and his robot friend, the hot girlfriend, makes it out of this wacky situation. You know? I want to know what happens. There's got to be some interesting stuff going on here. But instead, they make, like, absolutely nothing of it. Oh, yeah, this. This is going to be fun. Ha, I'm smart. Would I be able to do that? I almost get the feeling like the answer is no. Oh! Okay, I did not notice that I got my, um... 
My dash is back. Okay, cool. We're out of the cave now. Out of the core. Alright, well, down we go. But yeah, um, let's see. Seems like a, a fair interpretation thus far. Tartakovsky, a very small amount of what passes by Disney because they can afford to make any risk, really. But, um, I'm just sad that, like, all of these private places are doing absolutely nothing with good animation. And, I, yeah, I guess that was the, um, the death of Infinity Train, really, with, um, oh, the theming, you know, we don't think it's, it's, uh, appropriate for children. I'm like, then don't have kids watch it. <laughs> yeah, moron. Yeah, schmuckos. There we go. You know, and I, I guess there was that aspect of Infinity Train where... You know, it, it was geared towards children. There's freaking corgis and stuff. And then suddenly, yeah, there's the game crash. <laughs> and then suddenly there's like porcelain baby faces with flaming eyes and stuff. So that was whack, don't get me wrong, but I still really liked in Infinity Train. I, I, uh, was interested where it was going in the holistic story, and I, I, I mean, there's an, there's an interview and everything, and you, the creator was saying, like, you can kind of see where it's going, and you, you all know where it's going, but you want to know how it gets there, and things like that, and I was interested for that, and I was also interested how the heck they got away with making a, uh, an entire season with two male leads, and they weren't even gay, so, you know, that's nice. That's kind of refreshing in television. I'm like, they're going to be gay, huh? And they don't even end up gay. Wow. So, you know. <laughs> There's that aspect. <laughs> I'm going to end it there, though. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm proud. I'm proud of modern animation for making something that is um, good the way that Amphibia is at times. And don't get me wrong. The whole show ain't for me, really. Um, it's wacky. Some of the characters are really whiny. They dip into the, uh, I'm gonna save my friends thing, like, a lot. But some of the stuff that's in the show, I'm like, yeah, I can relate to that, even though I'm out of high school by now, you know? So, yeah, that's nice. For now, we'll see you on the next episode of Celeste. Or, I mean, what? That's got to be the end, right? <laughs> yeah. Goodbye. Yeah, I hope that one. I thought it was pretty funny.